Many people expressed the interest in building Gen 15 and 16 boats. To me, they are almost the same. Therefore, I created a series to cover both boats. The boats I built are based on 6mm thick coral plus. But in this series, I am very specific focus on 4 feet by 8 feet coral plus and 4mm thick coral plus. This is what the material people can get. However, I haven't used this material to build this particular boat, therefore you may come across problems. However, most of the problem can be solved easily. So if you happen to come across problem that I might not have seen, please let me know and I will try my best to help you. Please also refer to other videos I created for Gen 15 and 16, and I'm not going to repeat here. But I will give you the link to the playlist uh, here at this corner, click on it, or down below. Or even go to my website and get the link. To those who may be the first time watch the videos in my channel, or may come across other boats such as Gen 12, 14, now I'm on 15 and 16. They are based on the same design I came up with last year which is Gen 12. In part 1, I'm going to answer some of the general questions people have related to building boats using Coral Plus. The first question is, can I fuse two 4mm thick 4 feet by 8 feet Coral Plus to come up with a 8mm thick 4 feet by 8 feet Coral Plus? The answer is, is, with the tools we have, I don't believe it's possible. I cannot generate enough heat very often, I do need to fuse two sheets together, but then the area is very small. For example, I may have to patch a tear on the coral plus by applying another layer of coral plus on top, and that area may be just 4 inches square. In the case of stacking up multiple layers of coral plus, I can either use glue, and I can do the hot fuse, just fuse up the edges, of two sheets or more sheets, or I can even use tape. I prefer to use heat fusion because it doesn't cost me any money, and also the result is the best. As shown in this example of my boat, I cut sections of coral plus and fuse it to the bottom so that I can land my feet on it. For the kind of boats I'm building, 4mm thick is good enough provided I have sufficient reinforcement. And yes, the stress is mainly come from the submerged part of the boat. I use a thicker floor, or stronger floor, or the seat to provide that kind of reinforcement and prevent the side wall from collapsing. Part of the question is not applicable here because we are not going to fuse too large sheets of corpus together. You may watch this video from my channel which will go into more detail as how the corpus channels need to be placed so as to get the most strength out of it after you stacking them up. This question is related to my other video which I proposed two different ways to create a pocket where I can insert the PVC pipe to make the gunnel. The pipe, when it's bent, it will create a force pushing outward. This will create stress on the zip ties. The configuration on the right is better because the stress is less. Therefore, I recommend that configuration. I would consider fusing two sheets together as the most important step in building this boat. In Gen 14, my friend Nate, he used a clothing iron to fuse two sheets together, which works well, uh, but it takes a lot of time and patience. Please watch this video before you do your fusion. I have more information in this series, and also recommendations. In Gen 16, I used a heat gun to fuse two sheets together, and I fused it to join probably in 20 minutes much faster than the other method. And also the result joint is slightly more flexible than 
using the cloth iron. This may be due to the fused area is slightly smaller than using a clothing iron. And if this is your first time trying to fuse two large sheets together, I would recommend using the clothing iron. You have a lot more control with the heat. Therefore, you may come up with a good result, even though it's the first time you try it. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how you can modify the basic plan to build the size of the boat you want to build. If you find this video useful, please help me to promote this video and allow it to reach more people. Please give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you. Bye.